Um, I, I think you, you have to embrace the fact that uh, predictive analytics is, is going to be the difference maker for, for success and non-success. Um, you know, we, technology has been a huge advent to efficiency and productivity improvements. We haven't really been able to do it, especially in the non-linear sales process. Right? There's been a lot of good technology in the inside sales, BDR, the sequencing systems. But in the non-linear sales process, we're still very much dependent upon the right. Like my best advice and my revelation is um, trying to get the reps to give you accurate data, either through carrot or stick, is a waste of time. I've tried them all. You will not, and if you think you're getting data, you're only getting 10 to 15%. You've got to get the data in and you need to be thinking about an architecture that's going to give you the insights without burdening your sales option. So the science of sales has come in a huge way. Technology is now enabled. Uh, and so my best advice is embrace it because it's going to get you out of some of the busy work. Like no manager likes doing interrogation and inspection. It's, it's the least stimulating aspect of your job. Like get out of it. Let's go focus on, on having the system do all that and you can get back to coaching and getting a set of analytics that will give you a much greater degree of predictability. Because the way you survive as a CRO, if you're gonna have a bad quarter, you wanna know it in week one of the quarter. It's, it's when you go into the quarter anxious, like, uh-oh, uh, I'm a little bit more exposed and you're hoping because you know the expectation is X. Uh, and if X doesn't happen, that's when your, your job's in jeopardy. Um, and so knowing at the beginning of a quarter, wait a minute, something's different about the funnel. Something's changed. And being able to actually see the data, that allows you to stay ahead of the curve and align the cross-functional team to what do we do about it.